Ashley Kirk. And I'm Aisha Thomason. And today we would like to share some intimate details with you about how our nurse practitioners have handled the COVID pandemic in their buildings. We've had about four or five of our nurse practitioners who have actually contracted COVID-19 while they were caring for their residents in their buildings. So one particular provider has shared some details with us um, she was very, very sick for probably over a month and still has some lingering side effects. And when I spoke with her on the phone two weeks into her illness, she could barely breathe. Every time she talked to me, she was, she was short of breath. I didn't want her to talk because it, it just hurt me to listen to her. But all she could say is, Aisha, I've got to get back in that building. Who is gonna care for these patients if I can't be there? And as sick as she was, she got her computer out, was doing telehealth visits as she could, and it was, amazing. yeah, it kinda makes me cry, think about yeah, it. Yeah, that's amazing. We have um, an ICP provider support group that is on a group me chat and so it's all of our nurse practitioners in all of our states that are on this chat. And if something comes up, you know, somebody might post a question or a comment, um, and then other people from other places might chime in and give them, give them some feedback or give them some, you know, say, oh, I've experienced this too. Um, and here, here's what I would do in that situation. It, so it helps a lot of our new providers too. But lately I've seen a lot more dialogue between all these providers and it's all due to COVID. Yesterday even, they were sharing protocols uh, with each other. One from Arkansas was sending some in Mississippi, some you know CMS-based protocols, some that were also adapted to fit the environment in that facility. And then another provider chimed in and said, hey, can I share this with my DON? We don't have a protocol like this. So there are, they're all not only helping each other, but helping other facilities and even in other states. While it's heartbreaking to hear some of these stories, it's nice to see our providers pulling together, wanting to help each other out and help other buildings out if they've walked a path before.